Have you ever used software metrics? Did you ever see it go wrong? If you have, it's probably due to one of the four pitfalls which we'll introduce you to in the next two minutes. We start from a goal, reducing the complexity of System X. We use a simple metric, the number of files. Our first measurement gives us one number, 15,000. Unfortunately, this metric in a bubble does not provide us with any context. A context can be added by comparing System X with System A, B and C, or by tracking metric over a period of time. In both cases, the context will tell us whether there's a problem or whether we're on the right track. But be on the lookout for the signals of treating the metric. This is when people optimise the metric instead of solving the problem. In our example, by putting all code of the system in one big file. And there's more. When you use only a single metric, it's easy to conclude that everything is OK, while in reality many signs are in the red. We call this pitfall a one-track metric. To prevent this pitfall, always use multiple metrics to measure your progress. But be sure not to overdo this, because before you know it, you fall into metrics galore. To summarise, be sure to add context to your metric to avoid being in a bubble. But not so much, you start treating the metric. Do not wander onto the one-track metric, but also stay clear from metrics galore. And above all, always keep your goal in mind. Thank you for watching. For more details and examples, see www.sig.eu forward slash metric pitfalls.